Well, hi, and I am here again to answer another question that has come in through Facebook, through social media, is how do we pray into prophetic words that have not come to pass yet and are in our lives and that we're still believing for? And so, you know, the reality is, is what I tell people is, you know, God gives you that prophetic word and you know that it's a word from the Lord and it's really bearing witness is that, you know, you just, you want to continue to pray into agreement with that prophetic word that the Lord has spoken. Now, God will take us through seasons. Many times we get prophetic words and we think, oh, it's going to happen right now. And the reality is that sometimes they happen within a week, two weeks, a year, maybe five years, maybe ten years. Literally, literally right now in my life, there have been words that have spoken into my life 10 or 15 years ago that I, the Lord is just now opening those doors and I'm starting to walk through those words that were prophesied, those, that prophetic fulfillment of those words that were prophesied many years ago. And so what I do is there are many times that, you know, words that have been spoken, I'll pull them out and just say, Lord, here I am. I agree with the words that have been spoken, Lord, that really bear witness with me and have been confirmed. And Lord, I say, here am I, send me. Lord, do the work in me to prepare me for this. And so there are times that I will pray over them. There are times I'll wage a warfare over the prophetic words that have been spoken. Um, so you want to wage that good warfare, as Paul shared with Timothy. Other times, you, there's a place of trusting the Lord, that you're not necessarily having to pray that into that prophetic word all the time, but just when the Lord nudges you. And so the reality is, is you allow the Holy Spirit to guide and to direct the prayer concerning those prophetic words. But one thing that sometimes people do is God will speak a word and they're like, okay, God, great. And then they just push it to the side. And the reality is many words that have been spoken over my life uh, I realized or spoken into our lives or into our family or into our ministry, I would go before the Lord and I would pray and I would say, Lord, what is it that I am to do? Am I to wait? Lord, am I just to pray in agreement with this word? Am I to begin to take action steps that will put me on the right track for the fulfillment to occur with this prophetic word? Now, some of them you don't do that with. But you want to take those words and pray into it and ask the Lord, how do I steward the word that has been spoken, Lord, and, and get his strategy in his heart so you can partner with him in it, whether it be in prayer, whether it be in warfare, whether it be you're in a season of waiting, whether it be that you are in a place of God developing a character in you or anointing and gifting for that prophetic word to come to pass. And it, this doesn't even apply individually. This can even apply for prophetic words, even for cities and regions that the Lord speaks. And so, you know, Lord, how do we pray into this word? Lord, how, how do we begin to intercede and, and, and how do we get strategy, Lord, to see your promises come forth in our city and region that we live in? And so I think it's very important, I guess the key word for me to say in answering this question is we want to steward that word according to how God is directing us. How is Holy Spirit directing you to carry that word and to pray into it? You know, we can't manipulate a prophetic word to come to pass. God is a God of timing. Sometimes I've watched people try to make a prophetic word that has been spoken come to pass in their lives by manipulating it and the reality is is we can't we can't do that we have to be obedient to the lord and follow his steps and steward that word pray in agreement with it and say lord what is the strategy how do i move forward and trust what the holy spirit is saying to you as you steward the word that has been spoken i pray that this is helpful i pray that it encourages you Holy Spirit can speak to us and He can show us how to steward the promises 
that have been released and spoken into our lives, into our families' lives, into our ministries, into our cities. He is a faithful God. So if he's speaking a word, he's going to speak to us the process of how to move into that prophetic destiny. God bless you all. Bye-bye.